Okay, and we're back. Let's get, let's get going. Alright, so where we left off, we're gonna knock on this bitch's door. Yes? Hello? This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? <laughs> oh, you know. Incident, I see. Come in, won't you? Now that's suspicious, isn't it? She already knew. She already knew what the fuck happened. Isn't that kind of awkward? Yeah, I know Can about you, you too. Oh, I didn't sit down. What the hell? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. Oh, okay. That's pretty you simple. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. The fact. Esther and I met on a furlough in '44. Ooh. We got married that weekend. Ooh. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I did see. it. So you probably did well to stick Were it out. Were they in the war? I mean, well, What's okay. That supposed to mean, Mister. Uh. I think it's about time you left. I have some. Oh really? Well, I just I came in though. You're gonna have to run you Don't call me Mister. Again, sister. Sir, okay, I am Lord. Sir. Oh. I'm Leroy Sabo. <gasps> well, well. I like your I TLC matches. Widow, Mr. Sabo. Even though I never really watched right, them. Wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. Cool. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. <laughs> really? What's your relationship Wasn't even drunk? with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Yeah. Look, I was filing well. for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I no, he was delusional. Well, hasn't this worked out oh. well for the two oh, of you? Oh, you mean that? Okay. I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. <laughs> that was sarcasm, just so you know. He was, he was not being serious, he was being sarcastic. Yeah, you, you, you understand. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you're totally believable there, Missy. All right. Uh, You're lying, Lorna. You pushed him in front of the car. Okay, I don't know about that. You think you Cole. can prove that? I suggest you arrest me now. All right, cuffer. Mm. Well, as you can see, you two had an argument before the incident, thereby proving that you killed him, because there was an argument going on, and the only logical conclusion we can come with from that argument is that you pushed him because you're not just going to leave him alone right you're in an argument i <laughs> mean people get heated in an argument of course of course you'd push you him huh yeah you, do? you sick Eat son of a it. bitch huh huh oh okay you're gonna give me that lip all right well just for that i'm not gonna arrest you ha huh? how do you how do you feel Don't about that never find out ha huh? bitch you expect me to believe that it's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. Really? I'm sorry for the driver. That must have been a really I big megaphone. <sighs> kind of feel sorry for the driver. Okay. What was the nature of this argument? Tell me about your personal side. life, bitch. We were always arguing. So what? Um. Well, I'm asking about this one specifically. Don't lie to me. You Something had to hide. different this time. <laughs> You're clutching at straws. You're clutching at jaws. Snap. Yeah, you you didn't like that one, did you? Yeah, that's right. I got you there. I got you there. Um. <laughs> Okay, so... Uh... Possible business... Hmm... Looks like I was mistaken. Argument overheard. 
we well we had a witness overhear the argument. Therefore, the argument was to, therefore the argument was more meaningful this time. No, that doesn't make sense. Um, at least I hope not. <laughs> I hope that doesn't make sense. Admit it, we were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. Actually, no, we couldn't. All right. They didn't give a shit. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. Ooh. He suggested gambling man. On my back to get I can respect stay. that. That was the proposition he was putting to his on your so back. Buddies. So maybe I was a little a big angrier back. than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. Yeah, man, you're pretty skinny. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, wouldn't take that bet there. Let's see. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Oh. <laughs> That totally seemed believable. Man, you are not obvious at all. Lie. You want to back that up, little man? Oh. Oh, bring my height into this now, eh? Alright, I see. I see how it is. Well. You got stupid fucking... You got stupid fucking shortened hair, huh? What, are you trying to look like a boy? Yeah, that's right. I got nothing better to do? That's right. Beat it. I can play. I can, two can play that game. That's right. Which I hit you hard there. Right. So there was an insurance letter found on Lester's corpse, huh? Insurance. Meaning money. Because money has to do with insurance, huh? How do you explain that one? Although I don't know why you left it there on his corpse if. Uh, well, okay, I guess that would make sense. It would be too suspicious if he took it. Okay, anyway. You increased the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Whoa. Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting the into ace fights, of spades. crack games, the ace of peanuts, spades. all you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. It speaks to a lot of things. Detective. <laughs> well, he could have run him over. Interesting. I'm sure we will, officer. Let's just look at the car. You could both just leave. See We're if there's a hood man. ornament and blood Sorry on it. For your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. Uh, actually, no, I'm not leaving. Nope, not leaving. How are you? I didn't love him. I admit it. But that's not a crime. Yes, it is. It's a crime now. Come on, get in the car. I'm arresting you. Hey, get the hell out of here. Come on, I'm arresting you. Nope. 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 You're gonna get out of here. Nope. I'm getting you out. I don't care. Don't you fucking... Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Nope. We're arresting you. God damn it. Yeah, that's right. We're gonna get you out of here. One way or the other. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Get the hell out of this house. Bitch. Oh my god. No. <laughs> I'm trying to arrest you, goddammit. Help me out! Ah! Partner! Fuck! Oh, you fucking whore. Oh my god. I will do this. <laughs> yes! I'm gonna take you down the steps. Come on. Nope. Okay. No, I got frozen. What the fuck? Okay, I'm done here. Okay, now you, buddy. We got your bitch out of the house. Now you. Come you on. know, I don't really feel like talking to you right now. Well, you know what? I don't really care. Huh? What do you have to say to that? Oh, son of a bitch. Oh. I'm not even in investigative mode, and I can check things out. <gasps> a wooden spoon. Incidental. You know what that means. Guilty! Ah, oh, you sick son of a bitch. We're getting you hell out of here. That's right, you're under arrest. Oh, there you are, partner. Here, help me get her out. There's nothing we can do about that guy, but... Oh, God damn it! That's it, I'm just using the phone. Where's your phone? Where's your stupid phone? Where is your goddamn phone? Here it is. Why do we need the phone? Operator, give me R and I. We're gonna call the police to arrest him. 
charging them on the crime of being assholes. How can I help, detective? Any messages? Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Ah. The Patterson autopsy. Everyone thinks they can just use me for their own time. Like, I'm far more important than that, guys. Gosh. Oh, you bitch. Get the hell out of that chair. Back downtown What's next? for the autopsy report. Let's see what the coroner makes of Lester Pattison. Partner? I was doing something here. Get the hell out of that chair. Get the hell out of that chair right now. Nope, get out of the chair. You do not disrespect a fellow detective like this, especially especially one like me. Okay? Now you're either gonna get out of that chair or you're gonna suck my cock. Only two choices here, Missy. Alright, pulling my pants down. God damn it, this game doesn't let me do that. Alright, you win this time. Fucking stupid game mechanics. Fuck me over. Help out the wrong people. Son of a bitch. Uh, Shelton Residence. Should we go to this guy? Um... Actually... Yeah, let's go. Let's go to Shelter Residence. Oh wow, he's not very far away. That's suspicious. Mm. And it's still nighttime out. That's even more suspicious. <gasps> it hasn't even been an hour yet. Maybe an hour at best. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, I see. Time's gonna pass. Wow. We sat in that car for a long time. I think I'll get bored. I mean, let's bring some food. You know, Walkman. Maybe like a portable... You know, an iPhone or something, I don't know. That son of a bitch right there. Oh. William Shelton? Yes? Doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. Maybe he's just going on a trip. The accident. Oh, we got never mind. Who can put this car at the scene? Not to mention the physical damage. Oh. This is open Gosh. and shut, Shelton. No. Oh, hey, thanks. I could use that for my trip now. Want me to go on the trip for you? That coward thinks he can run from him. Oh, he's running away from us. Okay. Shit. Get this guy. Do, 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 do. Dramatic music. Oh wow. I feel like he's running into traffic. What the hell? Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. Wow, that guy has amazing reflexes. Oh yeah. You got nothing on me. Nothing on this folks. Take this guy out. Oh shit. No. Well, we didn't kill him. He, did. he just fucking moved. You see that, idiot? Oh yeah, that's right. No, you don't. I give up. Put your hands where I can see them. That was a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton. Oh no, I know it was you. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? Yeah, right. Oh. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing okay, I, believe I could know. do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. That was sarcastic too. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people well, you know what? a woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could <gasps> to a hospital. A woman and a man. It's not my fault. The guy Those two. Dead. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. A woman and a man. Oh my god. Leroy Sabo and that bitch. He's a man, she's a woman. <gasps> I figured it out. I cracked the case. Alright. Fuck this central morgue guy. Let's go bust him. Oh. Try making it to the next intersection. You do that Shut up, partner. Uh, 
Unfortunately, it's not letting me. Clearly, the game does not account for my, uh, oh shit, does not account for my genius of figuring things out quickly. Oh well. Nah, the bank can take care of itself. May the Lord strengthen us in our faith. May he give us wisdom oh. to lead the Not people. Here. There we go. Wow. Move an extra couple of feet. There you go. Now you're parked. That was actually a worse place to cut me, but whatever. Made the less least sense, but made less sense, I should say. Hey. orders a beer and a mop. What the hell? What? I don't get it. Okay. Anyway. You want a face full of knuckles? Do you want a face full of ass? Huh? Huh? If I can spread my ass cheeks all over your face, how would you like that? Must have escaped the loony bin. Oh, oh, I got you marked, buddy. <laughs> You're gonna be surprised in the morning. Oh. Put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that <laughs> Told you, again. idiot. The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. God, even the doctor figured out before you two Excuse numbskulls. Me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He then you should not be a comedian. Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got Oh, man. Murder one. We were right there, and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both so get the gas chamber. Whoa, okay, let's we relax the there. We, the we don't retaliate board, murder with murder. God damn. <laughs> something about that just seems very hypocritical. Also, um... What the heck fire? That guy's a lunatic. Also, um... What happens to the guy who, who, who run him over now? I guess he ran him over when he was already dead or something, but... So what happens to him? I I'm guessing it's a lesser charge. If even a charge at all at that point, I don't know how it would work. I don't know how it would work now. I don't even know how it would work. I don't know how it would work then. I don't even know how it would work now, honestly. Yeah, well, he can deal with it. His car insurance. It's all good. Alright, just driving along. Apparently my guy, my... These two dudes have... Nothing important to say. That's unfortunate. That means I'm gonna have to fill the air here. Um, so, uh, how do you guys like picking your nose? I like picking it. Uh, I'm doing it right now because my nose feels like getting picked on. And yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're here. Rah! Oh. Okay. Just bust the door. We got him, right? He spoke to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd oh. like you to come downtown and answer some questions. F uh, meaning you're under arrest. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy oh. stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very no, he's not. Now he's not. Put the gun down. Uh oh. Leroy. You lied to us. He wasn't in the bedroom. Now. He's right here. Don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. Uh oh. Oh, that whispering in my ear telling me how he had to get rid of Ooh. him. How good it could be. All the money we could claim. All that planning. How to get him into the street. How to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, had all shut up. You the bases covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with it. You think I'm going to fry for you, you Lorna? You crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him for God's sake. I wouldn't say that when he's having a, aiming a gun at you. Oh, God. Okay, I'll shoot him. Oh, okay. Damn it. Oh, you son of a bitch.
You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Even though I wanted to do it. <laughs> Even though I basically went out of my way to do it. Oh, uh, that was probably... <laughs> I, I just shortened that whole chase scene by a hell of a lot. <laughs> Broadcasting. Broadcasting at 760 kilohertz. So, I give you a hit and run, you bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. Oh, stop kissing my Take ass already. Face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. I actually know the coroner basically. I like that. Keep up the good work. Actually, no, cor the coroner basically painted the picture for me. I was an idiot and jumped to conclusions on the driver, so... Wah, wah. Oh, but I got perfect. Or should've. Right? Yeah, that's right. Another visit to Ray's and you would've seen what Leroy was prepared to do to avoid jail. Alright, I guess that's another... That's another way to go, but you only really have to go back there if you miss the knife the first time, which is possible. Then you can go back and get it later, and you can talk to the bar. I think you can talk to the bartender again, and he'll tell you more things or something. I think. I don't remember for sure. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah. Oh, next one is downloadable content, and no, I do not want to skip it. Of course not. I really Phelps, probably shouldn't have killed Kelsey. them there. <laughs> I just kind of did that for fun. Green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is six West Second Street. Get over there, see what you can find out. Okay. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. Fuck you. Go at my own pace. We're on it, Captain. Not yours. Ah, Cole, don't be a. Don't be a little bitch about it. I swear the more. You stand up for yourself, man. In, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. She is Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe a word of that. You said I was passionate or romantic. When that come into play? We haven't even really seen my wife, except for like the intro scene, like very briefly. Ugh. Hit the hot dog vendor. Might sell some good hot dogs there. They're calling her the doll, you know. Wonder what's wrong with that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? <laughs> well, Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Fourth, really. Terrible enough to be murdered like that without having to be Strewn all over the front. Oh my god. Oh, that's it? Alright. Yeah, well, you know. It be what it be. Oh shit. Freedom of the press and all. Alright. Just going somewhere. We could just maybe we just said, Remember, "Hey, we need them healthy enough to answer what? questions." Well, maybe if we just said, "Like, hey, uh, we want to talk to you," you know, maybe like, "Oh, okay, cool." Well, requesting immediate backup. Yeah, stop talk to us. But no, we're just gonna have to pull our sirens and like idiots. <sighs> well, we could have we could have ended this so civilly, and rationally. We need to jump to these conclusions, man. Now we gotta start to ramming this son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn it. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Oh my god, I'm doing my best, you fucking cunt. 
Oh, you damn it. That actually would have been a good opportunity to get him. He made the perfect turn for me. Oh, shit, I didn't boost it. No, 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 no. Oh, you son of a bitch. How are you speeding up now? Yeah, that's right. That was all me. Maybe that was a couple miles over the speed limit. Stupid door, that damn it. Out of the car now. I'm too retarded to just fucking clo close the door really myself. I saw the, the wait for the close. Mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about for the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Wow, oh, right in your pocket. How can you? <laughs> I don't think most people just carry that around. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. What's your name, Cliff Harrison? I don't see your name. Oh, there it is. So you're like Clifford, the dog, or something? Maybe he's named after him, or maybe the dog is named after him. I mean. Hmm. All right, we got some questions for you, buddy. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. Okay, tell me more. And the ownership papers? From the same place. Oh, wow. <laughs> he just keeps all this shit unlocked. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. It's a little suspicious how he just has a shit key. He's just carrying this shit around. Who the fuck does that? Alright. We're not done yet, buddy. I can see you getting nervous. Yeah, you, you squint your eyes over. Better to do, yeah, shut up. I've got a class I need to get to. <laughs> you got no class, buddy. You're classless. You have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. Oh. Oh, blinking a lot. Oh, oh, blinking very rapidly. That's suspicious, huh? Huh? That's very suspicious, buddy. Hmm. You better give us something. We're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because, because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. <gasps> How much, Cliff? One reefer. Oh. We'll let it slide. <laughs> You're in enough trouble. Does it really matter how much? Like, just let it slide, man. It doesn't even matter. God. God, Cole. <sighs> Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. Yeah, what about him? Can you tell me more? Gosh, you're like the fucking William Shakespeare of answers. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until How do you know he did that? Huh? You gotta be kidding me! You work for him? I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If That's right. Get, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Back yeah. Possessions as evidence. Don't tell him you bought it. Right, detective. You know who my father is? No, actually, I don't. Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Okay. It's probably bullshit. Nah, not really. I think he's telling the truth. Yeah, I, I changed my opinion now because he said that. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually, they're called politicians. Oh, snap, snap, snap. Oh. The paperwork all looked above board, and it seemed like a clean cut kid. Uh -huh. well, I get it. You see some kid who's basically you five years ago, and assume he's got to be innocent. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Hey, if he'd been black no, I'm not. Hispanic, I want to be right. You spout all this communist crap about treating everybody the same, but it only works one way. I'm not sure that's communism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, please. Not another history lesson from the man who single handedly won the war. Right, we're in the Cold yes. Warrior right now. I feel much better. We'll shake down the car dealer and take him from there. Unless his daddy plays golf. In which case, we'll give him a firm gentleman's handshake. See? I knew you were. 
Oh, yeah, but I meant to get it quicker if I just fucking cut corners like that, you idiot. That's right, that's what I was doing. Bad time to speak up. Now you know. Now you know. Oh my god. Oh, really? You're just gonna stop and mill the road? Alright, we're here. <laughs> we just caused a car accident. <laughs> a possibly fatal car accident. Right by the fucking... Right by the place, but whatever. Yeah, we're just fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna not call that in. Another step. I have got a oh great, it's another car salesman. Perfect for you. Oh great, here we go. Here we go. Detective Phelps, LAPD, are you the owner? That's right. Richard Coombs, at your service. You looking okay, to spare the, the bullshit. Black and white boys? <laughs> Mr. Coombs, we're investigating an auto theft. A man by the name of Cliff Harrison claims he bought the car here. Well, uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal. That's ha. a joke, son. Very amusing, Mr. Coombs. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. Wow. That's you are joke, so eccentric. How's that a no, joke? You didn't say anything. Actually, I do. I do, Bukowski. Wait until after he's given us the stuff, then shoot him. Idiot. 